In this video, we're going to walk through creating an email in the Autopilot platform by using the send email action shape within a journey canvas. To create an email, simply click on the send email shape to configure and then select new email to view the options that we have available. If you're looking to start from a blank canvas and create a text-based email, you can select the blank HTML option and then customize as needed. This is often a great option if you're looking to send short, personalized emails that don't look too stylized. If you're using an HTML email template builder, such as MailChimp or Bee, you can import your templates into Autopilot by selecting the second option, which is Upload HTML. You can either upload an HTML file on its own, or upload a zip file that contains an HTML file as well as an images folder. One important point to note about this email option, if you do want to edit your templates once you've uploaded them into Autopilot, please ensure that you have editable tags in your templates so as to make this possible. If you're unsure what editable tags are, please search for how to make my HTML templates editable in our support portal for a detailed support article on how to add them to your templates. If you want to make use of an autopilot template, we offer six basic templates for you to choose from. All have been built around best-in-class marketing campaigns and are fully customizable as well as mobile responsive. A few fun things to note about our templates. Firstly, all images, copy and hyperlinks are fully customizable. Let me make a couple of changes to the template on my screen so you can see just how quick and easy it is to make these changes to the templates within Autopilot. As you may have noticed, you can add personalization variables to your email content and subject line by using the personalization function at the top right hand corner of the function bar. Simply find the space that you'd like to add the personalization variable, select the person icon, and then select the personalization variable that you would like to add into your email. Remember, this option is also available in your subject line. In addition to the personalization fields, you can also customize the unsubscribe link within your email by inserting your own copy, highlighting the copy, and then adding in the universal custom unsubscribe link that we have created for your autopilot account by clicking the round plus button to the left-hand side of the personalization variable function. 
clicking link, link to unsubscribe will add the unsubscribe list to your custom copy. Once you've finished making changes to the templates, you can send yourself a test by clicking on the send test button to the right hand side, popping in the email address that you would like the test email to go to, and then letting us know how we should populate the personalization variables within the email. You can either select a random contact, in which case we will add a random first name and last name to your email, or you can select a specific contact from within your autopilot account for us to populate those personalization variables with their data. Now, if you are going to be using a lot of custom HTML within your email templates, we really do recommend that you use a more robust testing platform such as Litmus to be able to test your templates across various browsers and devices. This will ensure that the email that your end users are receiving match the stylization and branding that you have put together in the autopilot email editor. Once you're happy with your email template, you can hit publish and then add that email to the shape. If you do want to make changes to your email in future, you can always do so by clicking on the send email shape and then edit selected email. Remember that once you've made your changes, you will need to republish that template within the autopilot canvas for those changes to take effect and be applied to your journey ongoing. Now, two really important things to remember about emails. One, whenever you create an email in autopilot, we will automatically assign it a backend ID. If you then want to use that email as a template in future, please ensure that you duplicate that email and save a new version by following these steps. Click on the send email shape, select manage existing, find the email that you would like to use as a template, click on the drop down arrow to the right hand side of the screen and select duplicate. Autopilot will create a new version of your email, assign it a new email ID in the back end and create a two version, which you can update yourselves. Hitting publish, will add that new template or new email to your send email shape. And you can be sure that when sending that email in future, that you're sending a new ID email that contacts can receive a second time. Now, if you don't duplicate the email, any changes that you made to that template, even if it's in another canvas, will be applied to the original email. The second thing to keep in mind about emails is that Autopilot does have an inbuilt safety mechanism whereby contacts can only receive an email once. If you want to override this because you're sending a transactional email, you will need to select contacts can receive this email more than once from the configuration options when creating that email. If you select this option, you will override that inbuilt safety mechanism that Autopilot has and allow contacts to receive this email more than once. Once you've created your email, you can then use it within a journey. For example, you can add a list trigger, connect it to the send email, and then click publish for everybody on your list trigger to be sent that email straight away.